Today is February 7th, 2012. I'll check in hive site number one. This weekend we put this sugar box on it. I wanted to see if the bees were in that at all. Took a look. They're not up in there. What I do see is that some of the bees are up here in this box and I took a peek in at some of the frames and they actually have just a little bit left of uh, sugar stores from honey. So if I think about this properly, they have honey stores in this box on a couple frames. They'll go and get that before they come up here and take the sugar that we made for them. So rightfully so, you can see at this entrance where the Emory Shim is, some of the bees are coming out here. I found a handful, probably a couple dozen bees up in this top box. They're coming out of the entrance and they're on the landing board. You can see them taking uh, flights and it's 50 degrees today, so good day for them to be out and about. I would assume they know the sugar is up in here and they'll come and get it at some point. As I look at uh, the bees here, they're just kind of hanging out at the entrance. It's funny because this opening at times they'll close that up with propolis and other times they'll leave it wide open and today what I see is that it's just wide open and there's two or three bees right here guarding the entrance. What I saw earlier is a bee come back and land here and they did inspect that bee quite a bit to check and see whether or not it was a, a local bee or a scout from somewhere else. Here's one coming in and they're going to check them out and they'll see whether or not this bee will get inside. We'll take a look. This is the guard bee watching the entrance. We'll see what happens here. This is interesting. It's just hanging out. has not made an attempt to go back in. It's pumping its abdomen and off he goes. So maybe he's from somewhere else. Don't know. Tiger's checking things out. So that's it. We're going to let these bees be 50 degrees. There you go, Tiger. What do you think of that one? Huh? Just kind of hanging out, taking a cleansing flight. Thanks for watching. Here at hive site number two. Checking them out. This hive is not flying right now. The other hive, hive number one, was flying 50 degrees today, so I'm sure they were out. The afternoon sun goes across the field, which is behind us, and it's over in this direction right now, which is the late afternoon. Typically, it starts up over these trees and goes across this field, and it's already done its best shining on this hive right here. So these girls are probably out before checking things out. You can see a couple of them out here on the landing, but not doing too much. And what I like is we know from checking this hive this weekend that this cluster was up in this top box right here. They're right on the other side about where my hand is. And the girls are watching the entrance. Maybe you could see them in there. Every once in a while they peek out. And as I said with the other hive, it's really fascinating to me that they didn't close this entrance at all. Uh, typically during the summer months, they close that off with propolis. But I guess they like the idea of the ventilation there because they haven't closed it at all. And they're just kind of hanging out in there. Coming over to hive site number three, you can see we're starting to prepare some areas to put our hives in. We're going to move them all to this area. We cleaned it out. Used to have a lot of sticker bushes and um, built a couple pads and built a couple more. This hive actually sits underneath this one tree right here and in the summertime this tree fully blooms out and covers this hive and puts it in the shade. And of the three hives that we had, we had a little bit of hive, uh, hive beetles in this one. so. We'll move this hive over to this block and it will get full sun all day long. So taking a look at hive number three, they are flying here. You can see them on the entrance board. There's a fly right there that they're checking out. This is the hive that swarmed last year. It was a captured swarm and it was really questionable back in August and it took off. We fed them and uh, they came through pretty well. They're doing all right. Let's see if we have any friends up here in the top. And we do. There's one coming right out on cue. So.